What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my top 10 WWE Championship title designs. This is exclusively for the WWE Championship and you long term viewers may be thinking, but Joe, you did this video a few years ago. Correct, I did. However, it was a top five and some of my opinions have changed since then. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Coming in at my number 10 position, we have the Andre 87 Championship. Now this belt is massive. Initially, it was made in case Andre the Giant beat Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania 3. Obviously, the Winged Eagle or the Hogan 86, I can't remember what championship they were using at the time, but that championship wouldn't have fit around Andre's waist. So the WWF had one made that would, and it is stunning. There are elements on this championship that are still used today. Uh, for example, the actual globe in the middle was used on the current uh, WWE Intercontinental until it was retired into early 2019. Uh, anyways, obviously this belt was never used um, in ring. It was seen on TV, but because Andre didn't beat Hulk Hogan, it was retired and instead re-leathered onto a white strap and sent off to be used in the film no holds barred for some reason it didn't get used in that film either so vince mcmahon personally gave it to planet hollywood and they had it dis displayed in their building for years to come i have no idea where it is now but overall it's a brilliant design i love it and it's at my number 10 position Coming in at my number nine position, we have the Rated R Spinner. Now, I love this championship. I think it's really cool. I like what they were going for. However, it's ranking quite high on this list at the number nine position, mainly because the originality isn't really there. Um, obviously, the Spinner Championship is John Cena's title. It was debuted a probably, I don't even know, a, a year, two years before this one. And realistically, if Edge was having his own custom championship, they, mud, they should have made it like exclusively an Edge belt, not just use Cena's championship and throw the Rated R logo on it. Uh, the replica of this has recently gone down in price because WWE have re-released it. It used to be very, very expensive, uh, but the championship itself, I'm a big fan of, and yeah, it's my number nine position. Coming in at my number eight position, we have one of the most short-lived championships on this list. This is the big logo WWE 2013 Championship, known to some as the Rock Belt. This title was debuted by The Rock in January of 2013 after he beat CM Punk for the Spinner Championship, and it was retired on SummerSlam 2014. So it was only around just over a year, and it was held by guys like Daniel Bryan, The Rock, Cena, Randy, and overall, it's an okay design. You know, I, I wasn't I didn't really like it at all a couple of years ago when I made my previous list, but recently it's grown on me watching old stuff back. Obviously, Daniel Bryan's win at SummerSlam, uh, very nostalgic for me. So seeing him hold this championship high, it does give me nostalgia. And obviously, this is the like base template for the current WWE Championship. So I feel like this is sort of the ugly sibling of that championship. However, I do think it's okay. It has grown on me over time, and that is why it's my number eight. Okay, so this one might be the first one on the list that's actually quite controversial. Uh, the Daniel Bryan Eco-Friendly Championship. I absolutely love it. Not to mention my custom one. Uh, I might be a bit biased because obviously that was the one that made my channel really blow up for the first time. However, the Daniel Bryan Eco-Friendly Championship is stunning. When you look at it and what part of the uh, the gimmick it actually played in with the Eco-Friendly Warrior Daniel Bryan, the new Daniel Bryan, it works. It really works. Everything about it is so gorgeous. The individual stones, uh, obviously the etching, uh, well, it's not even real etching, just the engraving in the wood. It's fantastic. And to know that this is an actual like hemp strap with real wooden plates as well, it blows me away. The Daniel Bryan Eco-Friendly Championship, I absolutely love it. It played the perfect role. This is what a custom championship should be. It should reflect on the character, reflect on the gimmick and add to it. And this one has. Okay, so I might get a bit of heat with the older audiences for this because coming in next is the WWF Winged Eagle Championship. Now, I don't have the nostalgia that you guys have for this championship. I do think it's a stunning title, one of the best of all time. However, there's certain things on it that make me think, you know, 
it's not the best of all time. A lot of people regard it as the best championship design of all time. In my opinion, it's not. However, it is a fantastic design. I love that it's kind of small because it makes, uh, like, I, I believe a smaller championship makes the guy holding it look bigger and tougher. Um, I don't know about you guys, but obviously when you see like guys like Hogan hold this championship, it's tiny and it does look good. Uh, but yeah, obviously this championship held by greats such as Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, the list goes on. And that is why it's coming in at my number six. Coming in at my number five position, we have the WWF Stone Cold Steve Austin Smoking Skull Championship. Now this title is gorgeous. This is exactly what a custom personalized title should look like. And the story behind it is even funnier. So back in the 90s when Austin was WWF champion, he actually hit a Stone Cold Stunner on Vince. And when the WWF Big Eagle title like kicked up from his shoulder, it actually cut his chin because it had jagged edges. And from then onwards, Austin was like, no, nah, I'm not carrying that belt to the ring. So he actually went behind Vince's back and got Jamar, Joe Marshall, to create two uh, Austin Smoking Skull Championships, one in nickel plating and one in gold plating. Now, he wanted it in nickel initially to match his vest, but he actually went with the gold because obviously it's the main championship. And then he took it out on Raw without Vince knowing. So I don't know how true this story is. Um, a lot of people have said it's false over the years. A lot of people have said it's true. But either way, the championship is gorgeous and it is absolutely fantastic. I would love to own my own one. Obviously, WWF replicas are incredibly hard to come by. You're better off getting them made by a belt maker nowadays. But yeah, WWF smoking skull, a thing of beauty. Let's move on to number four. Coming in at number four, we have the WWF Big Eagle Championship. And to be more specific, we have the black strap, white painted scratch logo version. This is a fantastic championship. I absolutely love it. Held by the greats such as Triple H, uh, Steve Austin, The Rock, uh, Mick Foley or Mankind. You know, so many great wrestlers held this championship. It's such a nice belt. This, to me, is the Attitude Era Championship. That's another name for it, the Attitude Era belt. And it is a thing of beauty. I absolutely love it. I'd love to own a replica. Uh, more specifically, probably a Fight Night Belts replica. But yeah, either way... I love this championship and that's why it's number four. Coming in at my number three position, we have the WWE Undisputed Championship. Now, there is so many versions, so I'm literally just saying, like, the Undisputed in general is my number three. I believe there's five versions, all consisting of different paintwork, different logos, different strap lengths, different amount of plates. It's insane. And don't even get me started on the size. Uh, I'll put a photo up in a second where you can see the difference between, uh, I believe, the version one and the version two. It's insane. But the WWF Undisputed is widely considered to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest WWF championship and WWE championship as well and it's it is gorgeous I mean come on look at it it's fantastic obviously the undisputed became a thing when the WWF attitude era and the WWF big eagle uh, not big eagle sorry big gold belts were um, were put together and unified and obviously Ric Flair debuted this so this championship is gorgeous I wish it stayed around longer and I wish they somewhat bought it back but yeah, undisputed championship, number three. Coming in at my number two position, we have the current WWE Network Logo Championship. I absolutely love this title. A lot of the old school wrestling audience hate it. They say it looks like a cookie cutter. And to be fair, I am not a big fan of WWE using this design for every single championship now. Obviously, the Universal pretty much being identical, just with a blue strap uh, and the women's belts as well. You know, they use this design quite frequently. Uh, but initially, when this debuted, I loved it. Obviously, I wasn't that much of a fan of the big logo championship. However, when they uh, debuted the network logo, oh my God, there's something about it. It's just fantastic. I think the WWE logo this time is perfectly symmetrical. Uh, I love the amount of stones they've used. I love the red swoosh. I love everything about it. It's such a gorgeous championship and not to mention it's the current one. And if I'm perfectly honest, I don't see it changing anytime soon. So could this be the last championship we ever see as the WWE title? I don't know. Let me me know but yeah number two network logo championship let's move on to number one 
Okay, so this is probably extremely controversial. However, my number one WWE Championship of all time is the John Cena Spinner Championship. I absolutely love it. I love every single part of it. I love how it looks in the light. It just glistens. There is so many gems on it. I think it's fantastic. Now, this is very controversial because the vast majority of people, I'd say it's probably about 80% hate it, 20% like it. Uh, but this was the championship that was currently on TV when I started watching WWE. So as a kid, this was what I saw. This was the ultimate prize that I always wanted. And mark my words, I will own a replica of one of these. I don't know when, but I will. The Spinner Championship is absolutely amazing. I get so much nostalgia whenever I see it. I love it to pieces. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my top 10 WWE championships. Championships. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.